students welcome to ajitaha free ias courses channel in this video let us discuss and continue our discussion regarding most important personalities and so let us focus on annie besant in this video annie besant who is annie besant she she is not just a freedom fighter who participated in, in indian freedom struggle she was also uh, a sociologist a theosophist and a women's right activist most importantly she is a, foremost women's rights activist and she was a writer orator and educationist and philanthropist and she is a leader of the indian freedom struggle and she led home rule movement on the lines of the irish home rule movement and put a lot of pressure on the uh, british government which influenced the british to bring reforms in the montagu chemsford reforms of 1919 and let us discuss further more about that in the coming videos so let us see uh, let us discuss more about uh, annie besant she annie besant was born in united kingdom in 1847 and in 1893 she came to india let us also uh, discuss about what is also happening across india in 1893 so if you consider 1893 Indian National Congress was already born. It was nine years old. That is, eighteen eighty five. It was born, and eighteen ninety three. Who was the governor? Sorry, it will be viceroy. It won't be governor general. It will be a viceroy. Who was Lord Lansdowne? We can also say say Lansdowne. So Lord Lansdowne was the viceroy of India at during nineteen eighteen ninety three. and the most important thing we need to remember in the year 19, 1893 a durand commission was appointed what is the need of it durand commission was appointed in order to uh, draw a boundary line between india and afghanistan and the viceroy also uh, segregated the um, civil services into imperial provisional and subordinate civil services okay uh, so uh, these are the other points we need to remember coming to the year of 1893 because if you focus on only one point we will forget it but if you also read the parallel things we will remember the uh, important aspect that is any person and also the other facts that are related to history so let us focus on our important points any person contribution in education religion and social service and as author we will discuss in this video and let us first discuss about the contribution of her in the field of education in 1898 she played an instrumental role in the setting up of central hindu college and in 1916 she she along with madan mohan malviya had contributed for the establishment of the banaras hindu university and she learned sanskrit and translated bhagavad gita see by the year 1916 it means she already joined theosophical indian society which was established by the blavatsky and she had an interest towards the occult studies and uh, other uh, indian culture and religion so she learned sanskrit and translated bhagavad gita okay and in 1916 she also established a society for the promotion of national education if you see national education means education that is based on the indian languages religions and customs and in 1924 she established a theosophical educational trust actually what happened was theosophical education trust was already established but in 19, 1916 society which was established for the promotion of national education was merged into the theosophical education trust in 1924 so this is her contribution towards education that is central hindu college banaras hindu university and society for the promotion of national education and let us discuss about her contribution about religion and social service in the coming videos thank you so much